Ty Lopez here hanging out at the Whole Nine Yards in Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, really cool setup here. I think they got 31 sets of boards indoors, measured to perfection and uh, full bar. Have a good time. I feel like my airmail kind of sets me aside a little bit in this game. Bring a lot of confidence to my airmail. I'm not hesitant with it. I feel like a lot of new players are just real timid on the airmail um, and feel like you have to throw it 10 times harder to get it an extra foot and a half, two foot up the board, right? It's, it's not throwing it harder. I think it's letting it go a little bit higher and then the bag travels a little bit further. My normal shot is gonna be probably mid board slide. Not too early on the board, not too deep on the board. Typically sticky side of the bag. I'll, I'll adjust my strength a little bit from there, but yeah, my mid board slide, normal board is right there. And so for my airmail specifically, I guess, when I release that mid board slide, I release it right here. And so for my airmail, I'm not gonna come back harder. I'm gonna release it instead of here, I'm releasing it here. I feel like confidence comes from practice. So the more reps you get, the more practice you get, the more confident you are in, in whatever shot you're practicing, right? I, I usually am practicing by myself. So I throw, I throw a bag on the board or I'll set one up and I'll work on air mails or I'll work on kind of situational stuff on my own. Hour and a half, two hours a day and I got uh, another pro partner that comes over and, and practices with me a couple times a week as well. So weekends I come out and play, Friday nights we come out and play. Practice builds your confidence, right? But you also need to experience that in real life when you're playing games. The more you practice at home, you know, the more you, you start to bring out those practice shots, the more confidence you start to bring out. And it's just, uh, it's just, just over time kind of evolves a little bit more and more confident as you come out. I gotta give a huge shout out to uh, Ultra Cornhole, uh, best bags in the game. I, I typically, this year I actually like Viper R's. Really good bag, controllable, very consistent bag. If I'm not throwing a Viper R, I typically will throw a Viper, uh, depending on the board conditions. But yeah, Viper, Viper R is kind of my go-to this year.